Hey guys, it's Chris. I come again with a new tutorial and this time we will build a new electronics device module based on the LM358 dual amplifier integrated circuit for LED breathing light. Let's get started. Before moving to the project details, I want to tell you that the circuit we are about to produce exists on some web stores, but I don't really like the available circuit designs in there, so I decided to make my own one. As I mentioned in the video intro, today's circuit is based on the LM350A operational amplifier, configure it as multi-vibrator to produce a feed-in feed-out lightning control through its dual integrated amplifiers by producing its own input signal with the aid of an RC feedback network connected to the inverted input of the operational amplifier and a voltage divider network connected to the other non-inverting input. This setup will allow us to control the square wave frequency generated from the amplifier to control the emitter collector junction opening of an NPN transistor where we will place our LEDs. I moved to Altium Designer to prepare the circuit schematic for this project and as always I refer to Octopart in case I need some specific ECAD files for the needed components. Plenty of electronics parts available out there and you can simply search for your parts through their manufacturer part number then easily bring their ECAT files to Altium. Since our integrated circuit integrates dual amplifiers, then I got them both separately displayed to help me with the schematic NETS connection. I placed this potentiometer to the RC network to control the resistance value and this way I control the breathing frequency. Also, a power supply connector and a power control slide switch are needed in our circuit. The output is divided into two groups of LEDs where I placed one ballast resistor for each LED group. But I still recommend that you connect your LEDs in series when you deal with a large LED number or place one ballast resistor per LED to ensure the equal current flow and brightness for all LEDs. I then transformed the schematic into a PCB design and dropped the components inside this small size layout for routing. I did some kind of PCB art routing around the LEDs and I duplicated my logo to the center of the LED circle, then I set one logo to the top copper layer and the other duplicated logo to the top solder layer and this way I get an exposed copper for my logo. After arranging the PCB design, it's always good to check it in 3D mode. In order to produce my circuit board, I generated its related Gerber files, then I moved to JLC PCB where I uploaded them, and I select the purple solder mask color for this project. Six days later, I got my printed circuit boards very well manufactured and delivered to my door, and here is how it looks. I set my desktop for assembly and I brought the necessary tools, especially the solder iron and the solder core spiel, then now it's time for assembly. After completing the circuit board assembly, as always do not forget to clean the board with some flux removal solvent and here is the circuit board ready. I designed this housing for my circuit board and I 3D printed it through my 3D printer in wood filament, then I used some 3mm threaded inserts to help me screw the circuit board to the housing. Now everything is okay to take the 12 volt power input. 
Once I turn on the device, the LEDs start on breathing and I can control the breathing speed through this rotary potentiometer and this way we successfully completed our project. You can also power the circuit using a 9 volt power source like battery. I'm also designing an SMD version of the same circuit and it will be much smaller than this version so stay tuned for the next video. That's it for today guys, do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more electronics videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was Chris, see you next time.